people concerned about losing their homes in the middle of a pandemic can rest a little easier. The CDC is extending the eviction ban that lapsed over the weekend. The agency says the moratorium allows time to increase vaccination rates and allows rent relief to reach people. As we have billions of dollars that we've given to states to provide for rent and utilities for those people who can't afford to stay in their homes because they can't, I mean, in apartments, they can't pay their rent. The extension ends October 3rd in 60 days. The order will be for areas seeing substantial and high transmission of COVID-19, including the red and orange counties on this map of Wisconsin. New at 6, AJ Biopore has got you covered on why this news is coming at just the right time for local renters. Any updated eviction ban from Washington would be welcomed by the Tenant Resource Center. The agency says over the last month or so, it's been distributing about $1 million a week to tenants and landlords who have fallen behind. While Wisconsin has spent more than $300 million of the $700 million it's received from the federal government, the Resource Center says actually getting the money into tenants' hands is taking too long. For me, one of the obstacles is a part of that, uh, you know, bureaucratic process. So, right, it's, this is money coming from the federal government into the state, into our local entities, and then finally to an organization like the Tenant Resource Center. The Associated Press reports Tuesday, an updated ban will buy more time for people in places with substantial or high COVID transmission rates, something that should help local agencies after a hectic start to August. Things have predictably gotten busier here at the Tenant Resource Center. Since Monday morning, they say calls and new applications have doubled. We walked in Monday morning to about 300 waiting calls um, and about an equal amount of uh, new applications for rental assistance. Speaking in Madison Tuesday, Congressman Mark Pocan says any landlords who began the eviction process should see if their tenants have requested help and work with them. Let's make sure anyone who really wants to do the right thing and not evict their tenants can connect their tenants to the money available so they can stay uh, in their homes. Officials and the Resource Center say the money's there. Now it's a matter of getting it to the people who need it. In Madison, A.J. Bayatpour, 27 News. Tenants and landlords can apply for up to 15 months of assistance dating back to March of 2020. Any eviction ban would help ease the strain in Madison, where the Resource Center says August is already the busiest month for evictions as students return with new leases.